Let's continue with the next data type, which is the logical. It's designated by the red color. It's a simple two-state value. It can be off or on. When it appears as an output pin, it usually designates the existence or non-existence of a state of a module. For example, on the timer module, it shows if the timer is running or not. Currently, it's on. But if I stop the timer, then it's off. The editor of the logical value is a simple on-off switch that can be toggled by clicking. If the focus is on the name of the property, then similarly to the scalar editor, we can use the left and right arrow keys to turn off and on the value. The space key toggles between the two states. The logical values can be used for various conditional controlling. A simple example is the if module that switches between two values depending on the logical value. Let's wire the running pin of the timer into it. The two values are already set. So in the case of on, the module will output 35, otherwise 14. In other words, if the timer is running, we get 35 otherwise 14. There are several logical operator modules to enable connecting multiple conditions. As a simple example, let's suppose we have two timers and we want to emit the 35 value only if both timers are running. To do that, we simply wire the two timers into an AND module and wire on the result into the IF module. We can see that if only one of the timers is running, we still get 14, but if both are running, we get 35. Our next data type is the trigger. It's designated by the purple color. It serves the purpose of sending an impulse-like signal. When it appears as an output pin, it usually designates the reaching of a specific state or the ending of a process within a module. For example, we have a timer module which runs in looping mode in one second cycles. It has an elapsed output that signals the reaching of the end time. In its peaker, we can see a one-second periodic signal. Input pins of the trigger type usually enable starting or stopping some process within a module. For example, let's use the elapsed signal of the timer to periodically restart the video player. We can see that the video jumps back to the start in each second. The trigger does not appear as an editable value in the pin values editor, but it has a button, so we can manually trigger something by clicking the button. For example, we can start playing the video. Of course, these pins can be exposed. Thus, we can get play or stop buttons on the dashboard. Trigger data type has a very close relationship with the logical type. A trigger signal can be seen as a logical value that has the on value for a single frame only, then falls back to off. The two types are convertible into each other. We can wire a logical value into a trigger pin. Let's wire it into the restart pin and expose the video out to be able to see the result. The following happens. When the logical value changes from off state into on state, the trigger input pin interprets it as a trigger signal. The opposite transition doesn't do anything, of course. We can see that on each turning on, the video restarts. This behavior can be very useful. For example, we may want to start a process in the system simultaneously with turning on an effect. Let's see an example when we want to trigger something both while turning on and turning off a logical value. By adding a NOT module, which inverts the logical value, we can produce a trigger signal when the value is being turned off. Let's connect the two signals using a trigger any module, which sends a signal whenever it receives signal on any of its inputs. We can see that the video restarts when both turning on and turning off the switch. Both logical and trigger values are convertible into numeric values. If we wire a logical value into a numeric input pin, then the off value becomes zero and the on value becomes one. It's very simple. In the opposite direction, the zero value becomes off and any other values, so not only the one, but all non-zero values, for example, 0.32 becomes on. Similarly, a numeric value can be used as a trigger. Let's connect it to restart. In this case, as we expect, when the numeric value changes from zero to a non-zero value, it is interpreted as a trigger signal.